Guys, we've made it. December issue, Bon Appetit magazine, and you know what that means? This is it. It's over. I have this. I've completed the challenge. After this, I had a 12 month subscription to the magazine, and I made a recipe every single month. As promised, like I said I was going to do. Let's take a little look back at all those things that I made. Pasta with anchovy butter and broccoli rob. Spiced lamb hand pies. Best ever grilled cheese. Olive stuffed leg of lamb. Wok fried rice noodles with chicken and squid. Linguine with green olive sauce and zesty bet breadcrumbs. Steamed mussels with tomato and chorizo broth. Grilled eggplant with fresh hot sauce and crispy eggs. Wild rice crusted halibut and it looks edible. Ricotta pancakes with honeycomb candy butter. French toast turkey sandwich. Yeah, so that was crazy. I made all of that stuff. Out of everything that I made, the best thing, the number one, like my favorite one, was the steamed mussels with tomato and chorizo broth. <laughs> that was by far the best one. Like we, I dream of that dish. <laughs> we, we've made it many more times after that. We eat it all the time. It's one of the greatest things. Like it's so good. If you try to make any of the recipes that I made, make that one. My least favorite thing to make out of all of those things was everything else. So yeah, I can't believe it. I made it to the end. This calls for celebration. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more cooking. Woo! <laughs> Now after all that celebrating, I'm too exhausted to actually make any food. Okay, so for the last and final December edition, I'm going to be making, it's called Bucatini with Walnut Parsley Pesto. I thought that doing a pasta this time was maybe a little bit on the easy side, you know, after all we've been through. But then I remembered that I'm all out of fucks to give. So let's just make this dumb thing and then be done with cooking forever! Ah! Oh look, it's, <laughs> it's Corporal Poop Scoop. First we're gonna preheat the oven to 350. There it goes. I would love it if you would go away. Um, so onto this baking sheet, we are going to toast walnuts. Walnuts. This bag was exactly the correct amount of walnuts that were required. So thanks bag for doing it right. I'm going to probably start chopping the like 12 things that I have to chop every time again because that's what happens when you're cooking. It's just chopping and chopping forever and ever. This is a nightmare. So you're probably wondering, um, now that I've done 12 months with 12 recipes, how I felt about all of that experience. And I would say, that like, sure, I think I did learn a little bit about cooking itself. I think like my time management for sure has definitely improved, but generally like I still don't like cooking. Cooking just doesn't speak to me. I don't have fun doing it and it kind of just makes me stressed out and sad. I think I would just prefer to leave the cooking to others who really enjoy it. And believe me, after this experience, I will be very appreciative of everything that you do. So now I'm going to grate me some garlic. Parsley! One cup. Plus more! Stupid recipe. This is ready to have walnuts inside of it now, so I'm going to just toss that inside. Ugh, they always sell so much parsley. I'm going to wash this. Hey, 
doing with this? No. <laughs> Ugh, cooking is a nightmare. Gonna salt me some water. Cause it needs to taste like the beach. Time for walnuts! Quiet, please. Uh-oh. I think they maybe got a bit... A little bit too toasted. I think this is just like that bacon last time. You know what's done me and cooking? We're gonna just politely part ways. I don't really have time for this. I just want this to be done. Okay, so we're gonna put one third of a cup of the walnuts in here. Oh, it tastes toasty and a little bit burnt. So we're supposed to um, pulse three quarters of a cup of walnuts in a food processor or a blender until very finely chopped but not pasty. But we don't have it either, any of those things so I'm gonna use this again because it actually worked really well that other time when I did a similar thing. <laughs> Nuts are flying everywhere. All right, good enough. Mm. The other thing that this recipe wants you to have is six pickled Calabrian chilies or one Fresno chili with seeds. My grocery store does not have pickled any of those things. Instead, we're just going to resort to good old North American pepper rings. I don't think they could possibly be that different. They are still peppers and they're pickled and it's like that whole rhyme where you say someone packed a pickle poop pickle. Fresno chili, that's like kind of the size of a jalapeno. I actually have a chart to check this on. So the Fresno looks like it's about this big. I'll add enough peppers to be roughly the size of a Fresno. And now I'm kind of scared because we've got like less solid matter. Let me assure you this is making something that does not look very good. It's like a paste now. It's, I guess it's like a pesto. We're going to transfer the walnut mixture into a medium bowl and stir in the garlic. Okay, get in there poop mixture. Okay, so the poop is in the bowl and now we're going to throw the garlic inside. I don't know if it was supposed to become so pasty, but who cares? So we need um, one half cups of Parmesan. Here's my Parmesan. So we're using spaghetti. The recipe calls for a pasta called bucatini or spaghetti. Um, is that enough for two people? I need one of those pasta measurers. But in fact, no, I do not need one of those things because this is my last day cooking ever. So who cares? Pastasaurus, we need you now more than ever. So that's like one cup of cheese. Ugh. Um, I don't have enough Parmesan cheese. This turned out to call for way more cheese than we thought. Now I'm ending up grating a ton of cheese, which is annoying. I would also recommend using this as a grater instead. It's sharper. my hand skin in it now. Now I'm bleeding into dinner. Now that I'm bleeding, I'm gonna quit grating because I'm angry at it. One third cup of olive oil and one cup of parsley. And we're supposed to season it with salt and pepper. This actually looks not totally awful now that all the various parts are in it. Smells pretty good. To recap, we in here we've got uh, toasted walnuts, pickled banana peppers, garlic, parmesan cheese, olive oil, fresh parsley, and salt and pepper. And that's basically the sauce for this whole entire thing. We made a pesto. Hooray!
drain this pasta. Okay, so now into the pot, we are adding in the pesto that we made. We're also dumping in the pasta cooking liquid. Yeah, the cooking liquid, otherwise known as starchy water, is definitely turning it into more of a sauce. Supposed to crush some more of these. Bucatini with walnut parsley pesto, but in this case it's spaghetti. Tim, it's dinner! All right, so we ate that, and I have to say that was surprisingly a lot more delicious than I thought it should have been. Because it felt like it should have just tasted like sadness, but instead it tasted like super garlicky and the nut, the nuttiness was really good and surprisingly delicious. What did you think? I thought it was very good. Yeah? Yeah. So since this is the last episode ever, please give your final thoughts regarding this entire experience. been fun. Would you be upset if I never cooked again? I don't know if I'd be upset. All right, well, that wraps up this entire series. That's the end. Thank you for watching, and I hope you had some fun and some laughs, and goodbye forever! Woo! Don't forget that pasta on the wall.